put the touch on my life, you know, I think as everyone knows. My first memories of going to watch them was the 98 Cup Final. I was at that game, can't remember much about the game. I just remember Stevie Fulton with the blonde hair <laughs> winning the penalty so early on in the game. And I think it was until about maybe 2006, like when Rudy and that came, that I actually started remembering actually going to watch games. So that was a, a good season to, to start remembering the matches. So yeah, I've been a Hearts fan for, for all that I can remember. And you know, I'm just delighted to have hit 50 goals. I think I remember going to Amund Vale, I think it was, one of the first games that my, my parents let me go myself and I actually bought a Czech Republic flag, um, obviously for Rudy and uh, I think as I said I, I got a lot of nice messages from Rudy, um, from Stephen Elliott, Andy Driver um, after I hit 50 goals at the weekend so nice things to say and you know, I'm delighted yeah. I don't know if I can remember my exact first one. I probably had lots, obviously, when I was a baby that, that, my, that my dad probably bought me or hand me down from my brother. <laughs> uh, but I think there's one, maybe a, a maroon one, the, the all sports one. Um, I think it's maroon with white on the on the sleeves that I had. I can can remember that, and uh, I think I maybe had like Stephen Presley <laughs> uh, on the back. So uh, yeah, I think I've probably had a lot of strips over the years. I used to go with my dad, um, sat in the Gorgi stand for a bit um, to the left of the goals and then moved, I think, to behind the goals. Uh, so yeah, I just remember going along with my dad. Um, I think my brother, he played for Dunfermline, so he didn't really come as much as I grew older. Uh, and obviously started playing in the, the youth teams here. I got tickets from John Murray and I probably got along with, with a few of my friends from school. So yeah, I just that's my early memories of, of going to the games. I grew up in obviously Wester Hills, um, not, not far from, from here. Uh, I used to just play in the, the local square at Marbet. I think there was obviously um, goals, goalposts spray painted on the wall. Um, that's my, my memories from there. I just remember I used to go up to my, my house every night and you know I'd have holes in my trousers from, from doing slide tackles on the concrete, but that was my early memories of playing football and just playing down there with my friends. It was great. There was, I think, maybe 10, 11 years, just, just kicking away until the, till the, uh, <coughs> till it got dark. I remember a few times I maybe got a bit uh, over competitive and I would take my own football back up to my house and my mum or dad would throw it back, back out the, the top four flat that we lived in, out the window to my friends to, to obviously let them play. But, you know, it was, it was great memories and, you know, it's great to see how far that, that I've come. At primary school, I, I was pretty good. Um, it's when I got to high school and I kind of took a bit more, you know, football a bit more seriously. Obviously, was in the youth teams at Hearts. Um, I kind of fell away at school a little bit. Obviously, knew I was when I got to like second, third year. Obviously, John Murray had told me that I was going to come here full time when I was 16. So that's when I kind of fell out, out of school a little bit. But you know, I'm just delighted that it worked out for me. It was a, a proud day. Um, for, for me and my family um, to sing for the club that I'd obviously just said before, came to watch on many occasions um, but I was just obviously determined to, to obviously make the breakthrough at the first team um, I think you know it, when you start playing the, the, the little bit of being a fan you need to kind of leave in the background and concentrate on working hard and you know doing the right things and to become a professional athlete so um, it was a proud moment but as I said I was just determined to work hard and you know make it in, in, in the first team. When you're young, you just you just play football. You know what I mean? You don't really really understand about other stuff about how good people are. Like you just want to play with your friends, and you know you just have a bit of fun. Um, it wasn't until I actually went to high school when um, obviously my friends like played for Salvation, Hutchie Vale, etc. And obviously I was in the the pro youth at Hearts and the the primary school that I went to, the catchment area of high school was Western Hills Education Centre. But I actually went to Foresters. So uh, obviously, like I, I didn't know many people there, and I turned up on my first day. My, my my friend Liam, who actually worked in the club shop for a bit, he was like, "Oh, do you play football, etc." A few of the other boys, I was like, "Yeah, I know I, I play for Hearts," and you know, they didn't obviously believe me. <laughs> uh, 
But it was at that stage where I was just getting to know, like people were kind of knowing who I was. I was breaking into the, the Scotland youth teams and that's when I kind of took a bit more serious and you know, that's when I knew I was a, a, a good player. Went with two of my friends um, and the Goggy Suite, the, the night when they won the trophy. Uh, and I think that it was Darren Murray at the time, um, who obviously I, I owe a lot to as well, who kept me on the straight and narrow a bit when things weren't going well at school and you know always pushed me to, to my limits. But I think uh, he gave me a text the, the night of the, the, obviously they won the cup and obviously said that and there's obviously going to be a match with the, the youth teams on the, the pitch and do you want to play? And I was like, oh, of course. And I know it was, a, <laughs> it was probably one of the, at that time, the biggest cows I had played with. Uh, so yeah, I think... Uh, I can't really remember much from the day or the score or I think they have done crossbar challenge at the end you know, from the halfway line and you know it was a great day and as I said before I hadn't even played for the first team but to be part of that day the probably most famous result in the club's history was, was something special. You know I always scored goals in the in the youth teams I was always winning maybe the young player years the they put a year for, for my age group and you know I always just believed if I kept working hard you know I'd get the opportunity to play for Hearts and you know frankly I was I was very lucky to get that opportunity and as I just said before I always believed that I would would make the breakthrough and always believed in the ability I had so I, I was delighted when the opportunity came. Example of perfect physical condition. You're right. It's Tommy Walker. How do you do it, Tommy? Hello there. I didn't until I actually started playing in the first team. Uh, like it came kind of came about that uh, obviously my family let me know that obviously I, w I was related to him. Uh, but it was somebody that I don't know. I, I never obviously got to see play, but you know it was somebody that I could aspire to be like. Uh, obviously, as you said the. The, the greatest uh, manager in the club's history. It's somebody I aspire to. It's somebody that I, that I looked up to, and you know, somebody I could uh, know that I'm proud to be, be related to. Yeah. It was a proud moment, uh, as I've probably said before. I was just happy to be playing in the first team. Uh, but you know, to, to score my first goal, it was a Proud moment for me and my family, and yeah, I was delighted. Didn't expect it to be a header, but <laughs> there it is, yeah. I think it was, uh, like, the, the people that were playing in that game were just people who I'd played with in the, in the youth team. So I, I think even though I was playing with all my mates and that, so it was it was a good feeling and you know, a proud day for my family, yeah. I think uh, Partick were 1 0 up, and I was the one that gave away the penalty. Uh, it was probably the first penalty I'd, <laughs> I'd ever given away. Um, so it was obviously nice to, to get that goal when I think we got a point in the end. Um, I think there was a big crowd that, that night. Uh, so, you know, it was a, another proud moment and it's a, it was one of my favourite goals for the club. Yeah. For sentimental reasons, it's probably the, my favourite goal. It's a, a great strike and, you know, to score against Tibbs and uh, my family to be watching um, in the stands was probably a dream come true and, you know, it's just probably it's one of my favourite goals, yeah. I actually got booked for the celebration and then I think Hibbs took centre and um, I've ran to right back to close him down and I actually left the one on late. I thought I was going to get sent off, but, you know, thankfully I never. Personally, that's one of my, probably my top three favourite goals. Uh, I remember the game clearly, to be fair, because I think it was one of my first games back from a, from a long-term injury. And in the first half I had a really, really bad game. I thought, oh my god, I'm going to get subbed at half time here. And then I think it was a few minutes after half time, and obviously got the goal. And that was a great first touch and a great finish on my left foot as well. I can't believe John Suter still actually claims the assist. It's just a, just a, a long punt in the air. But uh, as I said, it was a great first touch and I was delighted to see it going in it. As I've said before, um, quite a lot this week when I get into them situations, I'm always confident that I'm going to, going to hit the target or hit the back of the net. So thankfully that one hit the back of the net and it was a sweet strike. It's probably one of my best performances I've, I've had in a hot shot. Uh, they score obviously two goals in such a big game um, against one of the biggest clubs in Scotland. Um, 
was a night I'll never forget. I just remember at the end of the match, the fans obviously were singing my name and you know it was a, a special, special night and as I've just said, probably one of my, my best performances in a heart strip. Lots of goals that I've scored uh, and at that end where I, where I used to sit is, is always a special moment, uh, just taking the, the, the ball off Andy there. <laughs> but no, as I said, it was probably one of my best performances in a heart strip and you know it was a, a great night under the, the Tyne Castle lights, under the old stand that I used to love playing it. People ask me now and I always say like, the new stand, you know, it does look fantastic, but the old stand, um, a big game under the lights with, with a fantastic atmosphere was something special and thankfully that night I got to go to goals and, and a great 4-1 victory. It's actually just came into me and it's just natural instinct to, to turn and, you know, thankfully it's came off and I think I've kind of dragged the, the finish into the corner, but, you know, they all count and I was just delighted to see it hit the net. Every time I score a header, uh, people always say it's not like you score a header, but I've actually scored probably four or five <laughs> headers um, in, the, in the goals that I've scored. So uh, I think in the, the box, if I'm a chance of me getting a goal, I'm actually not too bad, but if it's defending, it's, <laughs> I'm probably not the best. When I was coming through the youth teams, I was a striker. So uh, obviously I was always in, in the box a lot. Uh, and obviously you get more chances with your head rather than, than playing it wide. So maybe I just, something I took from from there and you know I've took it into the, the first team and as you said I've scored a few headers. It was a, a great header. Uh, actually at the time when Ahmad I think it was crosses it, I thought it was actually going over my head. Um, but I've kind of just been able to hang in the air and you know uh, get obviously contact on it and just guide it towards the goal. So obviously it was my, my 50th goal for the club and it, it was a special moment. Um, just a bit disappointed there was no fans in the stadium but you know I'm still all, all delighted that it was my 50th goal. I think it's very special, you know, to have scored more goals for the club than, than club legends like Paul Hartley, Rudy Scatchell, people like that, and uh, the people that have joined in the, the, the club to score score 50, and it's something special, and it's an honour for me, and, you know, it's something I'll maybe look back on in a few years and actually appreciate what it means, because I think now I'm just looking to get 51, 52, uh, <clears throat> just keep going and see how many I can score, but I think in a few years' time, or maybe when I retire, I'll look back and and think, you know, it's something special and it's something I should be proud of. You know, I think if I score maybe 30 more, I get into the, the top 20 all-time scorers for Hearts. So, you know, that's something I'm looking to do. And then if I do that, I'll see, see where it can take me. Get your hands on this limited time offer with Carabao, the great tasting low calorie energy drink. Save seven pounds on 24 cans. Was 18.99, now only 11.99. That's less than 50p a can. Includes free shipping. Visit carabaoenergy.co.uk today to redeem this offer. Carabao, grab life by the horns. Offer valid while stocks last.